hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's explore magic eraser tool you have eraser tools here so in this you got a eraser where no matter what it is it just keeps erasing things and we have a background eraser tool which has got a lot of settings uh, slightly advanced in terms of usage so magic eraser tool is a very simplified version of the eraser so when i click this eraser first you should see whether your layer is a background or a layer so it is background when i click it it automatically turns into a layer okay so with a single click i could see uh, i've got the whole background almost got cleaned up and the reason why it happened is um, if you could see here the tolerance is 30 to uh, 50 actually it was 32 so when you got a different range of colors okay uh, you need to go with a higher tolerance values where uh, a big range of colors like you could see dark green light greens and slightly yellows happening here so if uh, there are, there's too much variation in the color st taking a less tolerance will not help you okay you need to click it several times to actually re remove it so increasing this tolerance up to 70 would be uh, a quick result but sometimes uh, it affects the whole edges of our model so just uh, don't go overboard here it's okay if you're take spending some time um, 70 is way too high and 20 is like too much low so you can stay somewhere 35 yeah 40 and then start selecting the backgrounds they are like that so just i'm clicking here and uh, it's removing all that you know background so we have uh, contagious so when i choose uh, this option to off and then uh, let's say if i'm using a good tolerance and when i i'm deleting this it is also deleting the facial features which is falling in the same range so it's not identifying the edges it's crossing its total canvas is automatically selected which is not good uh, so keep contagious on if you don't want that to cross that borders okay so it doesn't touch the subject inside area so sample all layers is when you got more than one layer and uh, you want to uh, use the eraser tool uh, across the layers then you can use sample all layers option and then we have uh, opacity let's say if i put opacity of 50 and erase it has semi transparently erased the background okay so it's up to you to choose uh, the opacity levels so opacity is 100 contagious is on tolerance is 50 so anti-aliasing feature you know it's it's uh, generally softens the edges and uh, it's very simple tool to use just click 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 and then the background is erased it's not uh, about the background even you can delete something of specific color ranges okay so sometimes uh, you know erase tool can be very tedious in that case you can maybe use a lasso tool and delete them like that uh, that could generally save your lot of time in terms of uh, erasing things okay so you can also magnify it click very specifically uh, I, i'm not able to click that right pixel but if you zoom it and then click it it should go away okay so there are so many speckles you have to take care of that okay if you just uh, hold control and click the thumbnail you could able to see a lot of areas where the pixels are alive with the selection being on so you can use the eraser tool and then erase that clean areas instead of using the magic eraser there so that's how simple it is